must confess that I really had a great time in Brazil and I know that most of you could see in the videos that Wadamaya is indeed living his best life in Brazil. <laughs> opportunity to say a big thank you to Isaac the Travelogist who left everything that he was doing to make sure that we are safe and sound in Brazil. A big shout out to DJ Sankofa in Salvador Bahia and everyone who made this trip a memorable one. Listen, I got stuck in Brazil. What do I mean by that? I was supposed to leave this country via Panama to Kingston, Jamaica on the 16th of October, 2023. Until that dream got shut down by the change of rules by the airlines. I was so excited going to Jamaica, but the dream nearly got shattered. But I'm not gonna give up. Definitely gonna, not gonna give up until I got myself and the whole team in Jamaica because the goal is to bridge the gap I don't I cannot do everything by myself because of the concept that I have for Jamaica so I have to wait till I make sure that the whole team come along with me to Jamaica and how does that affect me is because of my African passport the airline prohibits Africans without American visa to transit in Panama you know why because of the deadliest voyage where Africans passes through the Panama forest to go to the U.S. You see that? This is how the journey is. We are tired, so we need to rest, man. Are you crazy? Man? You see, you see a lot of people over there? They're all going to the same place. They're all going to the United States. You see that? It's not easy. You know, mountains upon mountains. I said I've traveled a lot, but this is the craziest uh, journey I've ever made. It's not easy. I'm not lying. I'm telling you the truth. This is the craziest journey I've ever made in my life. It's not easy. I'll bring you the next. We're going to be in this forest for almost one week. Yeah, I think one week or five days. So, whatever will happen, I'll let you know, guys. Until we get to Panama. Adios. Yeah, we're still here, man. This is second day in the bush. At least at night, you can see. Believe me or not, I had no idea about that until I got in here. And now that I'm here, now that I know, I need to let you know that this is what is happening in the South American region where Africans and Asians use this route to enter into USA. So we walk all the way you know, a lot of people were falling sick. Your your feet is going to get rotten because you're going to walk in the in the rain, in the muddy, and you get somewhere it's on the mountains. You see that you can walk there like like two uh, three hours, and your body is going to dry. And by the time you realize it's raining again, so that's for that's how it is. So I went through this heavy and thick. And tedious, and I was able to pass through successfully to the Panama border. And I guess that is why Donald Trump wanted to build a wall between America and Mexico. They are checking that if there's patrol officers are coming, if not, they have to cross over. But if there's patrol officers are coming, they will tell them, hey, they are coming, so you have to relax in there until they will close or they will pass away. So you see, you see them. They are just waiting over. They are waiting over until the, uh, the situation is calm. Then they will allow them to go. You see the camera? You see the camera what I was talking about? You see the camera I was talking about? You see now they have seen that the place is calm. So they are going to jump over. You see, you see that he has jumped. And he's going to run, you see? You see? If he's not being cashed straight to the United States. Because this place, you can even pick up a car and straight. Yeah, you see, you see the patrol officer? You see the patrol officer chasing them? You see the patrol officer chasing them? Oh, yeah. Stuck, man. This is what we say, stuck in Brazil. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. 
There's no space. <laughs> but actually, this is a good stack, you know. This stack within women. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> So this is where we stayed for five good days and the five days is over and it's about time for us to continue the journey. Let's go to Surrey now man and I'll tell you more about what is happening because I feel like everything happens for a reason. So this is the car that uh, we're going to the airport with. So we are on our way to the airport and I just hope things go as planned this time around because I can't afford to stay here one more day. I just need to step out. So yeah, come along with me. I'm excited that uh, finally everything is okay. No, okay, finally not everything is okay. <laughs> Wait till I get my boarding pass and I'll come back to you guys, man. But feel free and um, like the video, subscribe to be part of this awesome channel, come along and uh, yeah, let's go! I've been using this airport since I came here, but it's so hard to pronounce the name. It's called Kungahas. Kungonhas. <laughs> ah. Guy is a busy guy. Yeah, finally at the airport. I feel so terrible man, like I have a terrible headache, more like a flu and I'm even struggling making this video but I have to try and you know vlog to, from Brazil to Suriname, the journey must continue, no matter what I'll find myself in Jamaica but for now let's go to Suriname. I feel like, I feel like crying right now because I got my boarding pass that is gonna permit me to leave this country. <laughs> my goodness, you guys have no idea, man. The stress has been real, but I'm super excited. Like I said, God has his own plans. You can make your own plan, but God has his own plans because let me tell you something, what is happening to me right now, you won't believe it. Because we even have the chance of meeting the vice president of Suriname. I mean, we are going to Suriname, as soon as we touch down, a VIP lunch has been booked, somebody paid for it. We are heading to Suriname. Our accommodation has been paid for. Listen, I'm literally not spending anything on this trip. The only thing I did was to book the ticket. So yeah, I mean, everything happens for a reason. And I'm excited to go to Suriname, come along with me. Like, see, you have no idea. Like, I don't know if you guys can hear the excitement in my voice. I have to eat just to celebrate this moment. Five days stuck in this country. See, he was crying, man. He thought you would not make it. <laughs> yeah, he, he was crying, man. He thought he would not make it. I was like, you know what? Don't worry, man. You know, the other option was to go back to Ghana. I'm like, you guys are not going back to Ghana. landed in Brasilia. Is it Brasilia, the capital of uh, Brazil? If you don't know now, you know. And we have to, I mean, do two different transit, man. We're going to the border, which is Belém, border of Suriname and uh, Brazil. So we have another flight to catch, so yeah. Hi, um, we have another flight. Uh, Where are you going? To, uh, Belém. to Belém, Maravilha. 
Call the police? No. No. no? Okay. Come on. All right. Thank you. So we have to transit, get another flight, and when we land, we still have to take another flight to our final destination. I won't lie, man. Brazil really surprised me, man. What? Like this is not a Brazil that I expected. Trust me. Why? I've been to almost three different airports, and all of them are huge, you know, and. So far, this one is my favorite. Hi, how are you? Ah, obrigado. Let's see. George. Ah, oh. YouTube. A uh, country, país. From Ghana. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get twelve. We gotta keep moving. I feel like everyone is so nice. Everyone sees you and they wanna speak to you. So, this is where we'll be taking our next flights from here to Belém. And then, yeah, it's gonna take another two hours. And then from Belém, we'll do another transit to Serena. So, come along, let's go. I'm tired. Traveling with uh, flu. It's one of the worst experiences ever, man. Yeah, I feel like. I just want to sleep right now, man. About like two hours, 18 minutes. We've landed in Belém. I feel like Brazil is a whole continent on its own, man. It doesn't feel like a country. It feels like a continent because you take the plane for two hours and you're in the same country. Oh my goodness. So remaining with our last flight to our final destination which will be in uh, an hour or two but I'm so exhausted wow I really love how Brazil immigration don't waste so much time I mean they don't ask you so many questions as soon as they grab your passport they just stamp in you know uh, because when I was entering they, they never even asked me where I was staying they never asked me anything they just took my passport and they said welcome to Brazil and um, I'm leaving and they just took my passport just one minute and my exit was granted because I'm here for business, okay. traveling back, hey, and she called me. You guess what? Maya is coming. Maya is coming. <laughs> what are you going to do? I said, I welcome them. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Welcome. Thank welcome. you. Yeah. Thank you. He's Surin Surinamese. Yeah. Is that Surinamese? Yes, I'm Surinamese. Oh, fantastic, yeah. man. I can't wait to touch down in the country. It will be wonderful. It's about one hour and forty-five minutes. One hour forty-five minutes. We're there. We touch down and uh, we're right in the country. Yes, really okay. fast. And I've been to Ghana already. Really? So when you're there, you might think you're in Ghana. <laughs> That, that, that even makes me more excited because I really want to know the similarities between Suriname and Ghana. I've done a lot of research and hope um, stepping foot in there will confirm whatever I've learned so far. Man. This is so cool. My phone is off. My visa is on my phone because we applied for e-visa. I forgot to tell you guys, man. We applied for e-visa. And um, it was it was pretty fast because we had few people that really helped us for us to apply. So yeah, my visa is on my phone, and when I get into the plane, I don't think I will have a charger. So I'm just trying to, as I wait, trying to yeah power my phone. I just hope it powers. Ah, good. Anyway, I'm so excited, man. Really so excited. I don't feel well, but I feel like this trip will make me feel better. This is our final plane for tonight. 
This is the plane that is taking us to the promised land. <laughs> I'm sick, but knowing that I'm going to a new country, all the sickness just disappeared. Because I was sleeping, I slept from takeoff, cruising, and landing. I didn't hear anything. You see, everybody's out of the plane. Okay, we're finally here. That is the most important thing. Oh my goodness! It's hot. <laughs> I, I read it's hot, but I, I thought it wasn't going to be hot like this. Nah, this feels like Ghana, man. It's it's hot. Who shows that we are in Ghana? <laughs> hot everything. Eh? When you enter, yeah, the interior and all those places. Really? Yeah, where where we live, then everything. 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 As soon as the wind blew, I was like, this is Ghana. <laughs> well, at the Atlantic Ocean. Ocean, yeah. We are at the opposite of each other. Yeah. So, wow. At the other side of the ocean, you have West Africa. What is, what is the name of this airport? Uh, Johan Adolf Pengel Airport. Oh, okay. Which is an, uh, a person of African descendant. Mm -hmm. He was one of the great sons of Suriname, one of the wow. great, one of the, yeah, you can see, greatest of all time. Wow. Yeah. For his name to be on the airport. Correct. He says a lot. Exactly. I can't believe I'm, I'm in Suriname, man. It feels like a dream. It feels like, I mean, you get a chance to talk about Suriname, but never thought a day would come. I'll step foot right here. So we are currently in the VIP room inside the airport. A big shout out to the businessman who made it possible. I mean, <laughs> this will be probably one of my favorite countries the way it has started from the airport. <laughs> but hey, I mean, the similarities, let me tell you something. Like, this is Lipton, all right? And the milk, this is not fresh milk, this is a evaporated milk that we use in Ghana. This is my first time stepping out of Ghana that I'm seeing another country using evaporated milk. First time ever. Look at that. <laughs> Did you, Welcome did you, to Suriname. Thank you. Did you, did you taste this kind of tea when you went to Ghana? Yes, of course. It's exactly the same thing? Yeah. Will you say Suriname is Ghana or South America? Well, you can almost say that. But you have to see for yourself. Okay. This is, I love that. This is just the beginning. <laughs> you have to see it for yourself. Yes, exactly. see it for yourself. The tea tastes exactly like the way we make tea in Ghana. The Lipton, same brand. The milk, same brand. This is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. You know, when you go to some African countries, you can't even get the same milk. For real? Yeah. So it's, it's crazy how like, you guys have the same milk with us. <laughs> Our people brought the milk along with them, eh? <laughs> <laughs> finally made it and uh, guess the person that I've been disturbing all this while. Hi. Hi. 
Thank you so much. <laughs> Trust me, she made everything possible. Thank you. No, thank you. No. Yeah. I was like, what am I going to do? You know, coming to Suriname, I have no idea. And then she's like, you know, I'm going to make sure everything is okay. Just leave everything to me. Ah. So okay. let's go. This is the first day. Oh. Yeah, first day. You're one of the Africans, yes. eh? Oh, so you know that, eh? Wow. Which 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 country in Africa do you think you're from? Ghana, I think. Ghana. Yes. <laughs> See, the the huh? the the air that blows in here, it's like you're in Ghana, man. Yeah. Hi. Oh, oh. I got a camera. What? <laughs> oh my goodness. Is that, is that performance for me? Oh my goodness. Let me hug you, brother. Welcome. Thank you. How do you say welcome in Suriname? Welcome, welcome in Suriname. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. In Suriname. Oh, that's a beautiful <laughs> voice. Thank you. Thank you. Whoa, you, you guys do the same thing. Can I have my outfit too? You have yours as well, yeah. I'm sorry. Oh. This, this feels so much at home. You are at home. No, no. Like how? A yes, on yes. The right oh my goodness. Yes. And the other dice as well. Ha! I mean, I, I've never had such a welcome anywhere. The last time I had such a welcome was Solar Tourist. But this is not Africa, man. This is out of Africa. I, I, I think I'll stay here for a long time. Appreciate this. Wow. That's a powerful voice. right? And you know man do. Masra. The guy looks like me. Can you notice? Can the guy look like me? Yeah. Of all the people here, he's the one that looks more like me. <laughs>
your brother. Yeah, How exactly. Come he's here and how come you are in Ghana and, and he's in and, and, and that's why I'm here. Okay. We, we are here to connect the dots okay. for us to know that we are the same people. Yes. And uh, people in Africa have no idea um, that we have brothers and sisters living in this side of the world. So we're here to bridge the gap. Yes. And uh, I hope you guys cooperate with us so that we'll be able to tell good stories about Suriname to our fellow brothers and sisters in Africa. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. We are honored to have you. Thank you. And right now we will uh, proceed and take you guys to your hotel. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yes. Okay. Thank you. It's like, I, why do I feel like everyone here looks like me? It's crazy, man. Like, they're, you're, you're they're more... Black, they're, you're in a black man. This is, exactly, I love that. I love that. This is, this is like Africa, man. You know, it's like coming out of, uh, what's the name? What's the, Congo. They're coming out. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't wait. Where are you come from? Nigeria. From Ghana. Ghana. Yeah. Good morning from the Maroon Village. We finally here. Um, this is where we slept last night. And right on in front of me is the Surinamese River. Such a peaceful environment. Even though when I decided to come to this Maroon Village, everyone was telling me that this is a dangerous place to be. Don't go. I have noticed this about anywhere that you see black people living. You know, people get to tell you that it's dangerous, don't go and all of that. But I'm here and I mean even last yesterday I didn't close my door when I was sleeping. My brother, how are you hey, man? I'm fine. And you? Good. You're the one who manages this place. Are you the, the owner of this place or you yeah, also stay um, here? No, I'm not the owner. I am a tour guide but I also come here a lot mm. of time with a group of tourists. So I'm also here with uh, two guests. Why is it that when I was coming in here everybody was telling me it's dangerous? Uh, that's uh, the story I heard uh, of a lot of people, but uh, so as you can see, there's no any danger here. Mm -hmm. So you stay here um, like uh, three days. Exactly. And all of this, your door was still open. Uh, you enjoy the village with all the people. Did even, you ever even, see any danger? No, thing? even, even uh, uh, yesterday around 10 o'clock, I was swimming. Swimming in the night? In the night. In the river? Exactly. And you didn't see anything bad no. here? No. So I don't know why people say um, the village um, is dangerous. So um, I will say, um, invite your people to come and visit yourself. Exactly. And then you will uh, see how beautiful and who, how quiet here it is. is. But can you tell us something unique about the Maroon Villages? Um, something unique about the Maroon Village. So. Um, like you say, um, you know, in Suriname, we have like uh, six maroon tribes. You have mm. the Saramakans tribe, mm. one of the biggest one, beside the Suriname River. Mm. And um, yeah, what do I have to say more? I am like, I'm speechless. <laughs> it's so, so beautiful, yeah. that, so I can't describe it in words. Wow. So, but um, what I uh, want to say is the, that you can come and visit it yourself. So you can, um, um, who say that? Um, experience, experience it. it yourself. Yes, it's amazing, man. Yeah, and uh, like uh, we have uh, one of the most popular guy from Ghana uh, all the way in my <laughs> village. So people of Ghana and everywhere in the world, come visit yourself, Thank you. and then you will see. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you, man. I cannot give up on this journey of connecting all black nations across the globe. This is country number two, and I might go back to Ghana and come back proper because this trip has been one of my expensive trips that I never expected. But I just, I'm telling you this because I feel like traveling within Africa and traveling within South America and the Caribbean, in, I mean, the, the, the Caribbean countries, I mean, Suriname is part of the Caribbean country, so let me just put it that way, even though it's in South America. It's as expensive as traveling within Africa. The logistics in here, it's not that easy. I have to take three different planes to get here, and it costs a lot of money to get here, but we are here not because of the money. We are here because I want to bridge the gap. I want to connect to our people. I want our people to know that 
we are one. I want people in Africa to get to know that we have people that are in the new world. And at the end of the day, we learn from each other. At the end of the day, we just get to know that we are not enemies. At the end of the day, we get to know that we are just one African people. So that is the goal in here. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Don't forget to shout the camera, come closer. Don't forget to don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and uh, be part of this awesome family. But a big shout out to Shada. Hi. Of. Um, Bless you. Too. I reached out to her when I decided to come to Suriname, and uh, within two days, she made everything possible. Of course, for somebody like, somebody like you, we were very honored to have you, and very happy that we were able to bring you around and make people of Suriname be more acquainted to you and also to introduce African and African uh, countries to um, our afro Surinamese culture, food, history here in Suriname. So we want to say a big thank you to you all. Make sure you go follow her page. Do all the nice things in there. What's the name of the page? Yeah, you can find me at uh, Super Shard on Facebook. Also Black Success Suriname. The acronym is Blasusu. It's uh, uniting roots and shaping futures. All right. Thank you so much for everything. I appreciate you. Awesome.